Amen. Oh, I got an amen. Can I wait? I like that. Can I get an amen? Amen. Y'all gonna make me preach up in here. <laughs> amen. 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 Could you uh, hand me that Bible right there, please? to celebrate the life of Patricia Laws and, and did our captain do a great job of saying how how we're not here for a a go away we're here for a celebration um, I'm gonna read a couple of scriptures here in the beginning if you look at your at your at your program we're gonna begin a little different I'm gonna do the scripture and the prayer first and then we're gonna move forward into the program and ask God's will to be done here today. Amen. If if you do have a Bible, if you don't, I'm going to read it for you today. I'm going to share a scripture today of why we're really here. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 6, it says, So we are always confident, knowing that while we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord. For we walk by faith, not by sight. We are confident. Oh, yes. Well, please, rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. Now, for someone who says, well, what did you mean by that? The Bible says that to be absent from the Lord means that you're in your body. And if anybody knows here that if you're a follower or you're trying to go to another level, it's not a physical walk, it's a spiritual walk. You don't have to go to a building church. You don't have to do certain religious things, but you must Develop a spiritual relationship with the Most High. And I know that to now celebrate life of absent of body means that if when I leave my body, I am no longer, if you didn't know this, you, you, you won't be judged when you pass on. You, you won't go here or go there. It says to be present with the Lord means you'll be in a, in a place that is honorable and glorified by the Spirit of God. We'll all be judged on the same day. <laughs> He's going to judge me for my marriage just like he's going to judge you for your marriage. But the most important thing is, what am I doing while I am absent from him? Is my life going to be a, a, a beacon of light to other people that says, you know what, there's hope. A beacon of light to say, no, we're not going to be down. We're going to be excited because life is not of this world. Life is of God, and that's in the in the heavens. The Bible says in, 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 in Colossians Chapter 3, it says, if you have been raised with Christ, no longer seek those things which are on earth, but which are on heaven, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. A lot of people are having a celebration of resurrection, but I'm, I'm celebrating my resurrection because Jesus is alive. Amen. There, it was a one-time deal. He'll never die again. He'll never be beaten again. He'll never be hung again, and he'll never be buried again. But I must take up my cross daily and follow him that now my life can be an example of how I can walk the walk instead of talking the talk. Heavenly Father God, we thank you today. Amen. We thank you for your spirit, Lord. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your anointing right now over the lost family, Lord, that as we, each one of us here, sacrifice a bit of energy to give back, a bit of love to give back for all of the hard labor and all of the care that has been put into this Ceremony. So, Lord, we thank you today. We thank you that no longer is it by power or by might, but by your spirit right now, we celebrate you. We give you all the honor, all the glory, all the praise, and all in agreement said, amen. Next, we bring to you Mr. Mark Allen Felton. <laughs> 